Hello everyone. This is part three of finding images in magazines and publications. So the main thing to remember when you're looking for those images to use in your projects is you need to be able to spot the images. So we're going to train our eyes today. I'm going to go through this one magazine and I'm going to show you what I see so that you can start training your eyes to also see what you are looking for. So the number one thing is make a list. Um, you're gonna, if you're anything like me, you're gonna be looking for a ton of different things. You got a lot of projects going on. You need a bunch of different stuff. Um, make a list of things that you are looking for. Um, look at your projects, all right? What do you need immediately? And prioritize what you are looking for. If you have a very long list, it's going to be very difficult to keep all of those things in your mind while you're looking. So I am going to shorten my list a little bit. My priorities are images that I can fussy cut, figures, heads, glue book images. That is plenty. Some of the other things that I am looking for that I have in the back of my mind are words, phrases, letters. I like out of focus backgrounds. I like color and texture bits. I'm looking for specific things. I am trying to finish up my scavenger hunt book. So I am looking for, you know, elephants, cats, you know, I've got a whole list of specific things that I'm looking for. I'm looking for tiny images for inches. I'm looking for small images for ATCs. It's a lot of stuff. There is no way that you can keep all of what you're looking for in your mind at any given moment. So I may go through the magazine twice. All right. My priorities are fussy cut images, images that I can fussy cut, figures and heads, um, glue book images. I also look for face faces, eyes and mouths and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm just going to go through one magazine and we're going to um, keep those things in mind. I'm going to have my list out here so I can keep remembering what I'm really, really looking for. I don't usually use the cover. It's a really, it's a hard, it's really glossy and it is hard to glue down. So I unless it's really, really, really special, I don't usually use the covers. So here is the first page. Um, here's a great figure. When I'm looking for figures, I am looking for things that are easy, that would be easy to cut out. And her hands, hands, fingers, you know, long legs are really fussy to do a fussy, you know, a detailed fussy cut. So when arms and hands are in and I don't have to worry about hands and fingers, I like that kind of thing. So she is, except for her hair, her hair would be a little tricky, but you could actually cut that off and it wouldn't look very weird. So she would be pretty easy to cut out. Um, and I may not cut the stool because the stool would be really difficult, but she's sitting down. And you don't always find figures that are sitting. So the reason I'm looking for figures is I like to put funny heads on, on them. So it's just one of those things that I'm, I'm doing. So that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, I don't always look at the back of each page too. There's a little tiny horse here that would be great for inches. But my priority for this page is that figure. So I am just going to rip it out and put it in my pile. I'm going to go through it later. All right, that'll be part four, going through the pile. Here's a car. Fussy cut images, cars are fun to put in collage. 
This one doesn't have any sharp corners. It would be pretty easy to cut out. Um, love is a great word. Um, love for all the right reasons is a good phrase that would be able to be used. Let's look at the other side. Oh dear, the other side. Um, here's a bed. Now, me, I am thinking about doing a page of monkeys jumping on the bed. And so this is a very simple bed and it would be very easy to cut out. And that one is my priority. Rather, I can find cars just about anywhere. I don't always come across the perfect bed. And down here are some little person sleeping and a little bed down here, a moon and a cloud, little images for inches. So this one is my priority. I want that bed. I'm going to rip out the page and put it down here and deal with it later. All right. This may take a while, you guys. You need to go through the magazines fairly slowly because you're going to miss stuff. It's it. It never fails. I can go through a magazine five times and still find things in the magazine that I have missed, even with my list. So here's a spoon, a window. That is one of my scavenger hunt categories, is a window, and that would be perfect. I'm also thinking about food in round containers, like bowls and plates and things like that. This one is really cool um, colors, so I may want that. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, this one's a cool image. I don't think you can see it. Let me turn the autofocus on so that you can see this image. Let's there you go. All right, so this is a bathtub with curtains. Now I'm looking for glue book images. And if I took that part off of it, it's a very simple, really cool image. So let me, I have to decide, you know, what side I would want. I really like that image and I would be able to have the window image too. I can kind of see through the page and know, you know, where things are. Here's another plate of round food I'd be able to use. Um, that is my, I really like that bathtub. I like the bathtub, so I'm going to put that face up on my pile. Here's some food. I don't usually go for food. It makes me hungry, um, <laughs> so it's not one of those things that I love, but I do like these little strawberries. There's nothing in front of them. They would be really easy to cut out and to use. Strawberries would be fun. And what's on the other side? Another round little bit of food. Some hearts that might be kind of cool. Um, and they are on the other side of the page of the strawberries, so I would be able to use those. I want the strawberries. Um, something like that. I don't normally tear out the entire page. I will just kind of cut out these strawberries and put them in my fussy cut pile. I'm just going to put them up here for now. Um, and that way when I come back, I've got other things to look at that I may want to use. All right. Here's a figure. All right, she's got words in front of her, but she her hands are tucked in. There's no fingers that are out there that would be hard to cut out. I like this pose. She would be extremely easy to cut out. She would have words in front of her, so I would have to disguise those somehow, maybe put words over her or another image or something. Um, but that is, I really like that, that pose. So let me look at the other side. And there's a little bowl of ice cream here. 
that would be fun to fussy cut out and use in collage. A little bit of, it's a girl holding flowers. Um, that might be nice for an ATC or something. Here is, they are on a sled. It is a built like um, bobsled course, I suppose. And that's kind of cool. But I have to make up my mind. Do I want the figure because they are right in front of her? I think I'd rather have the figure. So there's a bunch of stuff on this page. Um, I am going to, I want the figure. And I can see through it, through the, the light. You can kind of see right there. That is the bowl of ice cream pudding. I have no idea what that is. But it is a cool little dessert thing. Now, I'm going to cut that out and put it in my fussy cut pile. Just because I might forget about it when I'm cutting out the image. So I still have the full image here that I can put in my pile. All right, moving on. The words. See, I've, I've been forgetting words. But my priorities are images that I can fussy cut, figures and heads, and glue book images. So let me just focus on those kinds of things. And here, I don't know if you can see it, I've, I had to tone down my light so that the glare wasn't too bad. Some boxing gloves. How cool are they? And look, there's nothing in front of them. There's no words over them. They've got no sharp edges, no skinny little bits. They would be extremely easy to fussy cut out. What's on the other side? Absolutely nothing. Um, so let me look at this. Knock out would be cool words. In your corner would be cool words. Um, here is an M. Here's the word wonderful. Um, there's quite a bit of stuff on this page, so I am going to tear out the whole thing. All right, here's the next page. Round food. This is a sink, kind of a cool little glue book image. The cupcakes with hearts on them are nice. Round food. Here's some ties. Might want to put a tie on somebody. And here's a book. None of those excite me a lot. I'm going to turn the page. Chocolate chip cookies. Those could be fussy cut out with the bit of milk. It would have to be on a large page, but you could use it. There in the logo here is a little house. It's a, a water wheel. Um, that would be cool. Little image and a little tiny collage or something. Um, and the word cookie would be interesting. I like this side more than this side. You've got to make a choice sometimes. I might fussy cut that stuff out. All right, here's another figure. Her head's chopped off. If you cut around that, you might it might not look too strange, but you know, her hands are out there. Mm, it's not perfect. It's not something that I want to spend time on, so I'm going to pass on her. Objects of affection. That's kind of cool. Um, a cool phrase. Here's an S if you're looking for letters to do. Um, what do you call it? Um, when you put make words from from letters, um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Here's some hearts with some bows on it. You might like that. I am not a big heart person, but I'm, I might use the S. Um, and I would probably, since there really isn't anything else here that I really, really like, I would probably cut out the the words 
the phrase there and the letter. They're in different parts of the page, so I could have them both. Um, here's some hearts, some interesting things inside of them. I'm not a big heart person. I probably would save these for other people, though. So, And here's food. Um, I don't normally save food. Uh, I've just it's just not something that I'm really interested in. I do like the words um, all of the above. You could do a lot with that. Um, and the words, this is the good stuff. All right. So here's where you're training yourself to really look at the picture. Take a look at this. Advertisements are great for finding the random unexpected, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but it's different kind of images. All right? This is, it's aluminum foil. It's easy to cut out. I have no idea what I would use that for. Um, but it might be the interesting bit that you might need in a collage. If you had it fussy cut out and it was in your basket to use, you would might find a really cool place for that. I'm going to put it in my fussy cut image place. All right. I kind of ruined those hearts, but I like that better. It's unexpected. All right. Here is a round food. And here's a hand holding part of this hot dog. This is interesting. Um, the fingers are holding something, so I could cut that out pretty easily without too much fuss. And that might be another unexpected, something different kind of thing in a collage. Take a look at all the details of each image. Do you like the dip? Do you like the hot dogs, the way they're displayed? Do you like the glass with the bubbles in it? It is cut off a little bit, but you could put that on the side of a page. You could figure out how to disguise that it's not an entire object. Um, what's on the other side? A tulip um, lips in a card. That's kind of cool. There's some hearts, balloon hearts. Um, a little bit of scissors here. Um, I I want these this hand. I don't know what I would be cutting out, but I really I just want this hand. So I am going to cut around it, fussy cut it out later. See what I'm left with on the other side. I always look on both sides of the page before I cut anything out. Well, not always. Sometimes I forget. Um, Let's see what is on the other side. Here's a little tiny scissors. Those would be fun for inchies. And I usually have a little box to put inchy stuff in. Since they're so small, easy to lose, I usually put stuff in there like that. And so I would have to choose if I would want this glass or I would want the scissors. Um... And I think I'm actually going to pick the scissors. It's not always easy to find little tiny images. I'm going to pretend there's a box right here to put those in. Um, so it's right here. Um, I don't. I don't really want these hot dogs. I might save them for somebody else though, and I will go through that magazine one more time. Love Bites, great phrase. We've got cupcakes that you could individually cut out or you could cut out the whole plate of these. I guess they're cookies. They're sweets. Um, either way, it is kind of a cool image. What's on the other side? Oh, here's a cat. Here's a cat on a a cat house, I suppose. Um, and I kind of like 
the whole thing. This would be easy to cut out the cat with the cat house. Um, I prefer that than the food. I am looking for cats. Here's part of a chair that might be cool in something as well. So I am going to cut, tear out that whole page and just put it this side up so that I can remember what I was looking for at the at when I was looking through it, through it. Here's the next page. There is um, a rack with a hat on it that's kind of cool. And there's this bench. There is words in front of it. Can you see that? It wouldn't be too hard to cut the words out. Fussy cut this bench out. And that might be pretty cool. I didn't notice these words, up and at them, might be kind of fun. Divine intervention, interesting phrase. What's on the other side? Here's glad garbage bags, leak protection. Odors have nowhere to hide. I might save those words, nowhere to hide, because that's kind of fun. Um, or be happy. This is not really interesting to me, but it could be with the fish skeletons here. But I prefer the the bench. I'm going to fussy cut that bench out, so I'm going to tear out that page. Here we've got a fire square, easy to cut out, be really cool in a glue book page. The windows are kind of boring. There's really nothing in them. The couches might be fun to use, but look at this table. You need to see it close up. I almost missed it. Let's bring it up a little bit. Oops. Look at the table. Can you see it? There's things on the table. There's coffee on the table, a newspaper, and a puzzle. That table would be easy to fussy cut out and put someplace else. Look at all the details on that. That is fabulous. And I, let me see what's on the other side. There's nothing really down here. I love that table, and I like the fireplace. Um, so I am going to just cut around those two things. When I come across it again, I'm going to remember what I wanted from that table. That is, that I really like that. That's different. That's unusual. That's kind of fun. I'm putting it in my fussy cut pile right there inner happiness great words let me look on the other side now there's a jug here there's a little glass container with matches in it now it does have a little stand here but that would be really hard to fussy cut out the little glass container here with the matches in it that's an interesting image. That's unusual. That is kind of special. The jug is okay. You could use that in a lot of different ways. And the slippers, the jug is going over the slippers just a little bit, but it's only in one little spot. You may be able to disguise that. You could put slippers on somebody and it would be pretty funny. So I am going to rip this page out just to get to these images easier. I'm going to cut them out and put them in my fussy cut pile. Take a good look at this before I throw it away. There's really nothing I can use here. I've cut it all to shreds. I've taken out the good stuff. And is there anything that I may be able to use on this part? 
I may be able to use that strip with the couch on it some some way. Cut it cut it straight. Um, I'm not going to throw that away. I may be able to use it. All right. Here is another image. These are the napkins that are on that table. Um, tree napkins. Those are pretty cool. Um, so we've got quite a few objects here. Like I said, I am looking for objects that I can fussy cut out. Here is a bottle. Got a great shape. It is whiskey. Yeah, but it's a great shape. Here is a tea strainer in front of a canister of tea. The napkins might be fun. The fondue would not be too bad to fussy cut out. A fondue would be great in a collage. Here is, this is the puzzle that was on the table. It's a bird. It might be a little difficult to cut out, but it's a really cool image. And look at the game. It's a backgammon game. Real easy to cut out. I don't know what I would use it for, but it would be fun in a collage. So let's see what's on the other side before I make any choices. Plates. This one with a bird on it, that's kind of interesting. Um, but the other images are way more interesting to me. I don't know if I would use the bird so much because it looks like it would be really, really hard to fussy cut out. But I would use these other images for sure. And I'm trying to decide if this plate, it goes over the the board. I can see that the board goes right here against his head. So that wouldn't be very cool image. <laughs> a headless bird. I am just going to tear out that whole page, leave it this side up. So I really remember that I want to fussy cut all those images out. In fact, I may just put it in my fussy cut pile. So when I sit down to fussy cut, they're all together, and I don't have to remember what I was saving it for. Porcelain dream is interesting words. Put that in my words bin. I don't necessarily like this plate. It's all, it's not a whole plate, so I am going to throw that away. All right. Here is a figure. The background is out of focus, so she is really in frame. She's hanging onto the door frame, so um, her hand would be hard to cut out, but the background is very neutral. It would be a great picture just to cut out and use in a glue book page to make it interesting in a collage you could just put a head over her head and make it make it interesting all by itself you know you don't have to fussy cut images out you can put things on top of images like that if you're looking for landscapes and such which aren't on my list but I do usually look for landscapes and there's nothing on the other side. So I am just going to cut this little bit out. Actually, let me just do the whole page. So when I go through, you can see how I cut that out. All right. All right, next page. One of the things that I usually do is I rip the, the binding apart um, just to save all this, especially for National Geographic. I want just the, all the glue. I want the entire page. It doesn't really matter so much with this one. All right. Here is an advertisement for butter. And there's an itsy bitsy tiny little cow right there on the logo. Love that. Great for inches. Here's a pomegranate notebook. The word notebook would be interesting. 
and a couple in bed. Let's see what's on the other side before I make my decision. I like that cup, that clock. The scissors are pretty cool. They're on white, so they would go with other things. Measuring cups, spoons, a whisk. Here's a, what is that? It looks like a watering can. This part of a plant would be interesting. Um, a call to order. What would I want? So it looks like the clock is in an area that doesn't have anything else. The cow is in all, an area all by itself. Those are my priorities. Um, and they're on opposite sides of the page. So what I'm going to do is tear out this page so I can get to that cow put that cow in my imaginary tin here with the, my inchy, my tiny little images. Um, I don't really necessarily like the pomegranate. It's not a whole pomegranate. But I do like this clock. And I could fussy cut that out. And I could also fussy cut some of these other things out don't like the pomegranate. I'm not big on the couple in bed, so I am just going to trim these off. Put them in my fussy cut pile. I might want that plant. Even though it's just half a plant, it would be cool on the edge of a page. All right, so there is nothing else on there savor the season. Those, that's a great phrase. Savor the season. All right. Notebook. I don't need that word. So there's nothing else on that that I need throwing that away. A call to order. And there's nothing. Upgrade. Upgrade. I'm looking for you words for my scavenger hunt book some small little words and that might work perfectly for that. So I'm going to save that word. Um, call to order. I might as well just keep that. I'll put it in with my words and phrases. All right. Throwing that away. All right. Here's a champagne bottle that might be interesting to fussy cut. It is a little tiny. So here's one of those where we're going to search and take our time and really look at the Im image. All right, we've got a refrigerator, an open refrigerator with some stuff in it. There are some letters. They're trying to, to get you to do certain things here. Um, but that image might be fun in a glue book. There's also things in the refrigerator. Here, let me focus you in so you can see the little details of my, the refrigerator. All right. A bowl with grapes. If we want to fussy cut that out, it's possible. Look at the milk bottles. The other bottles here. Um, the champagne. You might want to do the yogurt with the fruit on top. But just take a look at all the little bits. Is there anything that you could use for an inchy? Is there anything ATC? Look at these jars. You could cut those jars out as a group. It wouldn't be too difficult. What's in front of it? It's a squash. It's a squash. It would be kind of an interesting something in a collage, a little detail. So train yourself to really look at the different elements of that. There's eggs. That wouldn't be too bad to fussy cut out. It is a little small. I think this is, it might be sour cream or something. But take a look at the details. Now let's look on the other side and before I unfocus it. Here's a bookshelf. Now, it would be a cool image all by itself, 
Look at that little tiny elephant that would be perfect as an inchy, inside of an inchy, to use for inchies. Look at this little bin with all the bottles in it. That is an interesting little bit. Um, I don't know what I would use it for, but it would be interesting on a table or in a collage. It would be unexpected, something different. Here's a plant that might be a little hard to fussy cut out. It's only half a plant. You'd have to put it on the edge of a page or behind something else. Keys. Um, so here is, here's the deal. There's quite a few images on both sides of this page. I have to decide which ones I really, really want. Um, I like the milk bottles and the bowl of grapes. But I really like this elephant with the books. Um, I may be able to cut out... Nope, I have to choose. I could choose just the elephant and then get the milk bottles. I really like those milk bottles. So I would get the, the elephant and the milk bottles and then I could get this image. I think this would be... I don't know what I would use it for, but I think it's unique enough. It might be, it would be very interesting. And that's how I get interesting images. Okay, so this really is my priority. This one and the elephant. Um, like I'm looking through the light to see exactly where the elephant is. The elephant is right here, so I could cut out those milk bottles, put them in my fussy cut pile, um, so I don't go crazy when I'm cutting out the elephant. I will forget that there is milk bottles on the, the other side. So I am just going to carefully cut around those milk bottles and get them out of there so I can have them. Put them in my fussy cut pile. And then I've got the elephant there. I'm going to put this in my pages and we'll deal with it later. See, we're not even halfway through the magazine. Um, this takes a very, very long time. You really need to train your eyes. So I'm just going to go through. Um, this figure is really cool. Grandma on a skateboard. A girl on a bike. Those would be fun to do some fun things with. You wouldn't have to really fussy cut them out. Um, you could just add images on top. You can't really see that. But it's a lion's head. Um, maybe you could see the dog a little bit better. You could cut out this whole page and use that in a collage and then collage elements over the top to, so that you don't have to fussy cut things out. So I like both of those images. What's on the other side? Here's a little bottle. It's kind of cool. And her bike just misses that. I can see it there. So I would go ahead and cut that bottle out. It's the only thing on that side that I want. And I still have her. So I'm going to put that in the pile. Let's just keep going on. Look at all the details of this. Here's a flower. An espresso machine? Is that what that is? I want to say that's uh, some kind of coffee making machine. A shoe. Um, a cup with some plates. All of those would be really easy to fussy cut out. They might be interesting images. You never know what you're going to use. But this is a cool image. Um, what do you call this? The paddle and the ball and the shadow of the ball on there. This would not be difficult to fussy cut out. I would fussy cut with the shadows. 
I have no idea where I would use that, how I would use it, but it is absolutely perfect. I have to choose between this one and the espresso machine. I would pick this. So it goes in the pile to deal with later. Here's a cute couple. I would probably save that for someone else. Nothing on the other side. So I could cut that out. Um, I'll do it later. All right, so here is the curl kissing the cat. You just have to trim off that picture, and it is a perfect glue book picture. Perfect. I love it. It's great. And then we've got a couple of a dog head and a cat head for figures. Look on the other side. Oh, of course, this bathtub image is on the other side. I really like that. I think it's the lack of color in it. And I love the bathtubs with feet. I just love that. There is words here, but you would be able to put a figure or something like they were sitting in the bathtub and cover that up. It would be hilarious. So I have to choose what images that uh, I would want. I think I've seen this advertisement someplace else. But this is a article in this magazine. I'm only going to find this bathtub here. So I may want to look at that later. All right. Looking for fussy cut images. Images to fussy cut out. Here's a, a lot of bowls with some interesting color bits in them. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, here's a brush, a sponge. Uh, those would be easy to fussy cut out. Brushes might be interesting in a collage. You'd have to choose which one, you know, to use. Um, I'm not real, I don't know which one is more, makes me happier. Um, I like the brush. Those are kind of cool too. I think I would go with this because I have more more things. So, um, I'm not big into the makeup thing, so those don't excite me. But those are kind of cool. Those would be really easy to fussy cut out. I have no idea how I would use them. Um, they are interesting colors, so let me just tear that page out and use it later. All right. I always look at advertising. Um, all the advertising, I, I look at that very closely. So here's a B, and here is the B also in, just in, you know, in the background. There's tiny little bees on the boxes here for inches. There's a honey, um, what do you call it? The, the honey dipper? the word honey, and here is um, bread. Can you see the bread? That bread would be, and there's butter next to it too, that would be fairly easy to fussy cut out, and it would be interesting to use. An image that is different. What's on the other side? Of course, there's a cool dog. This dog would be fun to fussy cut out and put in the bathtub I was talking about before. He's cut off, so I, I would have to put him on in, in something or on the edge of the page so that he doesn't float on the page. But I love that look on his face. And I'm looking through the light. You can see that that bread... I could get the bread as well. I could have both those images. Those are my priorities. I'm going to tear out this page. And I am going to cut the bread very closely to where I'm going to fussy cut it out so I don't get the dog. I'm going to put that in my fussy cut pile. 
and then you notice that I still have the entire dog. So I am going to cut him out and put him in my fussy cut pile. Then what do I have? All right. Um, I could have been a little more careful. I could have gotten this bee as well if I had not cut it like I did. So slow down and get every single image that you possibly can out of your magazine. I actually bought this magazine to do this video with, and so I probably should have um, slowed down just a little bit so I could have all of that stuff. I'm going to put this in my pile to look at later. Here is a dog head on this dog food bag, and this dog and this figure could be fussy cut out. Live well. Great saying. What's on the other side? She got a first place ribbon for her pie. Her fingers and hands are tucked into the image, so you could actually fussy cut that out. Put her in the bathtub. It wouldn't be too hard to do. There's words here, so I don't necessarily want her entire body, um, but I'd want that ribbon. That is cool. I like that more than the dog, so I am going to save her. Here is a glass. What is this? It's just a glass of orange juice a smoothie, and warm apple cider. Now, I like this one with the coaster. That would be an easy thing to fussy cut out. This would be really cool. These images like this are easy to use in collage. You have a great big huge glass of orange juice and a little tiny person looking up into the or orange juice, like, how am I going to drink that? It, it makes it funny. So I would use that one and also this one. Um, there's nothing in front of it. I could fussy cut that spoon out. There's no words on top. Um, that gives me two images. I wouldn't be able to use this one back here because they're overlapping that one and it, it would be cutting into that one and it would look strange. So what's on the other side? That's pretty. It might be tempting the spoon and the napkin with it, but I like these better. I am going to fussy cut those out. All right, here is a plate. It's cut in half. Mm, I could live without that. Ooh, nacho, a bowl of nachos might be fun. And this bit of chili, it is cut off, but you can disguise that sometimes. So I could probably use that. All right. Letters for the ransom note words. You take letters and um, from different fonts and different colors and stuff and put them together to create the word that you want. Ransom note uh, words is what I call them. I'm not sure what they're really called. So those are perfect. I like bigger um, letters that are kind of spaced far apart so that you can cut them out easily. Those are perfect. And the little word bananas here too. Bananas is a fun little word. You don't see it written out very often. Uh, that would be cool on a collage. Bananas. I mean, it could be a uh, uh, collage of a figure with a, a monkey face or something, you know, and the word bananas on it. You know, you never know how you're going to use the the words. So let's see what's on the other side. This one's kind of cool, but, you know, it's not as cool as, well, there's some bananas here. There's a little banana some cut bananas and some bananas here on the logo. Um, you just have to decide what your priority is. I'm not real 
keen on any of it. I do like this word, though. I do like the word bananas. So I'm going to cut that out and put it with my words, because I may forget the next time I go through it. And I may use those. I'm not really big into the plates. That one might be interesting. Uh, I'll rip that page out and take a look at it later. I'm more interested in the letters. More plates of food. Oh, these are actually recipes. So I always, and so the paper is pretty thick. It would be hard to glue that down. But I take these out for my aunt. She likes to, she likes to cook. So I usually save recipes for her. So um, that will go to her. Ooh, look at the oranges. You could fussy cut those oranges out separately or use them as a group. Here, what is that? Is that orange slices? It looks like candy. So it would be fun to have a group um, cut out. What's on the other side? That's a cool dessert. Don't usually go for food. And look at this little plate with the berries in it. It's not a whole plate, but you, it could be used. And then here's another dessert. These could be fussy cut out. The plate's cut off just a little bit here, but you could disguise that. So these might be fussy cut images. So what I will do is do that. This is my priority one. Um, I'm going to fussy cut some of this stuff out, and then I'm going to see what's left over on the other side after I'm finished. Part four. Part four. Here's a cool glue book image. Community is a great word, plus so much more. That's what's on the other side. I love the Geico guy. I love him. This pose here is not my favorite because his hands are extended like that. This is really hard to fussy cut out. But if you do take the time and do it, the pose would be really cool in a collage. Uh, it's up to you how detailed you want to get with your fussy cutting. So this one would be, actually, I can have both images. I can see through the light here. Mr. Gecko comes right there, and so I can do, I can cut this image, and I'm going to do it now, because I will probably forget. I get a great big huge pile of magazines, pages, to do with at one time, and I can't always remember what I saw on the page, and that there was something on the other side. So you can see he's whole. So I can put him face up and I can see him. I might try to fussy cut him out. I might try. Here is a great background, out of focus background image. I like these kinds of things to do collages with. Um, I will use this as a background and then put things on top. Do I have fussy cut images? Here is a ship that I could put over the words and so I've got a ship on the snow-covered branches. It makes absolutely no sense, but it kind of is a cool collage. I could keep adding to that. Let's see what else I have over here. Here's a hand. It's a candle. Um, and I can put that in the bottom of the page um, and keep adding things to it. If you are saving landscapes, if you keep spotting landscapes and seascapes and cityscapes, things like that, and you really like the looks of them, but you just don't know how to use them, that's the way to use them. Put things on top of them to make them fun. You can even cut out little bits of one landscape and put it on another landscape or something like this, and it would be cool. Add some little bits to it. That's a cool collage, just the way it is. I haven't done a whole lot with it. So I do save 
this kind of image. I'm just going to pull that whole thing out. Let me look on the back and see. There's some oranges here. Pomegranate is... Hmm, I like this image better. I don't know why. It's very neutral. I can do a lot of things with that. I like it better than... That's a kind of an interesting squash cut that way, but I like that better. I'm going to put that side up. All right, here's another one. It's not. It's a background. Um, it's it's food. I love this fork and the spoon. Those are really cool. Um, I could fussy cut that out, put it on a different background, and then again put things on top of it. Animals, uh, a cow or a pig or you know do a lot of things with that. It's an interesting image. I'm Like I said, though, I'm not much into the food, but I may save that for somebody else. Look at the cabbage and pomegranate seeds. It's an interesting color. The spoons here, um, I'm not sure which one. I'm going to rip this page out, but I don't want to rip that spoon, so I want to make sure that I get the whole page. I'm going to save that one. All right, so here's more food. Hmm, it could be interesting if you're looking for that kind of thing. Embrace orange, a great phrase. Here's more food. I'm not really looking for the food, but here's a fork and here's a spoon. That would be cool to use. Um, I will use the fork. Let me tear that out. I like the words embrace orange. Um, that is a really random, one of a kind phrase. I have no idea where I would use it, but it just, it speaks to me. It says, please keep me. And then this fork here, I really like the looks of. I'm not real happy with this cup. It's cut off too much. It's not very interesting. But I like the fork. So I am just going to cut that fork out, put it in my fussy cut pile, and see what else I have. Um, I still have this. And the plate with oranges is kind of cool too. I may not use it, but I'll save it for somebody else. The spoon is cool. What's on the other side? Oh, the windows. Love those windows. I'm doing a scavenger hunt category, a whole page of windows, and those would be perfect. So I need to save those. Here again, there's some windows here. There's a door here. Um, this is one of those whole pages that you could put images on. There is words here, but you know, you could put a giant dog so that he's coming out of the house. You could disguise those words in a lot of ways. Oh, but look at this window. That is really cool. And look, there's a little tiny figure here that is really sweet. There's These are rocks. Here's a little skull. It's like a, that's just a figure. Um, so that would be my priority. That window is really nice. So I will deal with that later. Sorry this is going on so, so long. This is this is the process. You really have to slow down. Take a look at all the things in the picture. Dissect everything. Would you want to use this whole picture as it is? Or do you want to use the windows? Do you want to use the vase with the leaves coming out of it? Maybe the couch with the pillows that are perfect. What's on the other side? Which one do I like more? Here's some windows. And a bowl or something. These stools might be interesting. The whole picture itself might be something that you're interested in. Um, I am kind of looking at 
those windows. These windows are kind of cool too. This one's a hard decision. And I think I would rather have the smaller windows, so I'm going to put that face up. Here's a cool bathtub. Doorway. It's kind of interesting. Here's part of a bed. What's on the other side? Here's Martha watering some plants. She would be fun if to put a head on. <laughs> you could cut out the whole picture and then she could be the lion watering the plants. Um, So I, I think that one is, is more fun than this other side. So I'll save that, probably not for myself, but for somebody else. Here's some more figures. It's all a Martha doing her thing. I like the different sizes. I like the backgrounds. This is a... Um, you might be able to fussy cut that out, but then again, you might not. But it's a cool background. You could, again, add heads to these figures and, and use them. What's on the other side? Ooh, look at that garden. That's a cool glue, glue book page. A clue, cool one. Turkey Hill. Um, I kind of like that more than the figures. When I cut it out, I may be able to use some of the figures. I'm not sure how far down it goes, but I'm going to I'm going to save that. Um, and I have forgotten all about my list here, but um, my priority is fussy cut images, so my eye is really, really looking for fussy cut things I can fussy cut out, figures and heads. It really, that's really what I am focusing on first. This is a kind of a cool glue book page. It would be um, very easy to put a figure here on the path, and it would be cool. What's on the other side? Some more really cool glue book pages. Of images. I like the smaller ones, so I'm going to put that side up. Um, little pictures. I'm always looking for little pictures. She's holding a nest here. Is that a nest? No, it's co compost. It looks kind of like it could have been a nest, but here's a cool picture for a glue book. Some smaller pictures. Again, you have to decide. I like this one better. I will save that. Here's another image that you can put things in. It's very neutral. Here's a wall. You can put figures standing on the wall, animals standing on the wall. It's a weird statue. I hadn't noticed that before. Um, that's kind of strange. I am not sure I love that, but here is a figure. You could do all kinds of stuff. Um, a little animal peeking out from her shirt in any given place here uh, might be funny. You might want to use her lips for a face. This one's a hard one to decide because that figure is really, really strange. It's a statue that's laying on the ground. I don't know, but it's kind of weird. It's like a body there. Um, I could cover that up with something else. I think I'm going to try that one. Um, a darning... What do you call that? A darning... I know they use them to darn socks with. But that's a cool little image. It'd be easy to fussy cut out. The thread would be cool as well. The, the pin cushion, the scissors, the thimble, the, the embroidery hoops would be really cool. All those little images would be fun to use. And here is another image of a figure. I don't like that she doesn't have any elbows, but her hands are easy to get. Um, and without too much fuss, and you could put a head on her. Um, that would be kind of cool. 
And here's another figure that would be easy to use. This one's a hard one. You don't come across sewing things like this very often. The thread wouldn't be too difficult to fussy cut. Might be a little challenging because it's very skinny. But I can find figures more often than I can find these kind of items. So I'm going to put that side up. What's on the other side? Um, this chair is kind of cut off. You can't really tell it's a chair. It's got that thing draped over it. But that's a cool little face. So I'd have to choose. Do I want the figure or do I want this? I think I'm going to choose the figure. Great chair. I like the feet. Um, she's. It's really large. It would be really hard to use. What's on the other side? Food. I don't really want food, so I'll pick the feet. It's an interesting table scene. Again, um, here's a part of a chair. You could put the dog sitting on the chair. Um, and maybe he's eating spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, you could do a lot with with full page images like that. I'm not really big with the, the food on the other side. So I will save that one. Pouring some wine. Bowls of food, more food, bread, salt. Here's a cutting board with the bread on it. That might be a cool image. The bread is cut off here, but you would be able to cut that so it wouldn't look really strange. You wouldn't have to cut it off straight like the picture is telling you to do. Um, this one's a hard one. I think I like the bread the most. There's a cool little glass here that would be interesting too. When I cut things out, and there's another little glass there. When I cut things out, I always look at the back side before I throw away the page, just in case. Look at this group of forks. How fun is that? Can you see it? The food is OK. I think that's a pepper meal that wouldn't be too bad to cut out. Jolly green giant feet, except one of his feet are completely covered up. But look at you could you could cut this out and put different legs on him and put a, a head on the top and make a different figure. There's little miniature jolly green giants for inches. A bowl of pasta. A bit of pizza. Um, that one's a rough one. I am not sure what site I would use. This might be a little too difficult to cut out. The forks are pretty cool. There's letters over one of the forks, so that kind of makes it a little less exciting for me. Um, I think I'm going to pick the giant. I'm not big on hearts, so I'm going to skip on the hearts. And there's not a whole lot on that page. Tiny little things for glue books. The orange juice glass. The hot dog plate with the hand. Some croissants, some bread, spoon, a glass, more food. Those would be good for inches. more little tiny pictures for inches. I'm not going to tear these out because I may save the recipes for my aunt. Here's a face. I do do a lot of things with faces. Um, I put other people's eyes over the top, so I would probably save that. And then you get to the advertising. and This is where you really need to pay close attention to logos and the little tiny details. Let me just pull you in really closely. We're almost finished. Okay. So here's a hand with a can in it. 
wouldn't be too difficult to fussy cut out. You could use that in something. Some shoes, pine cones there, not too difficult to cut out. Modern adult, that's an interesting phrase. Um, I m might use that. Here is a cookbook pictures, and that little lady there, I don't know if it's a girl, grandma, when she was young, I guess, perfect for inches. And also, right next to her is another picture with a couple or something in it, perfect for inches. So, there's nothing here. Here's some shelves. I'm seeing some books, but not a lot that I really spot. Here's a little face. Work at home. Take a look at all the little details of logos and advertising and that kind of stuff, especially if you're looking for things like inches, um, little details for collage and such. Here's Martha relaxing. Again, I'd probably put a head over her. I like the windows in the background. Here's a potted plant that would be easy to cut out. And she's got some kind of food here. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but that would be easy to cut out too. Some eyes. Actually, it is the cover. So I don't like gluing this kind of paper. It's it's like trying to glue cardstock. It's just too thick for me. But I would, if it was on a normal page, I would keep those eyes. I like the eyes a lot. So that is the entire magazine. And we only have a few pages left. Go through it again. Um, oh, that's the cover, so I don't really want to use it. What is left? Words. Go through your list. Make sure that you don't have anything here that you may be able to use. Joy is a great word. There's a plate, a heart, little cups for inches. I didn't see those before. I could use those. I'd have to decide if I really want to use Martha or not. Objects of affection. I'd probably cut that out. I want this S. The hearts I'd probably cut out for somebody else. All of the above I would probably save. I may save the hot dogs. So up and Adam, that's a cute little phrase I hadn't seen before. I might save the couple. We're saving most of the magazine, but we've got it kind of under control so that we can go through the pages, and I'll do that in part four. I've got a pile of pages to go through and I will describe my next step of harvesting a magazine. All right, sorry it was so long, but it takes a while to train your eye to spot the things that you can use. And, you know, actually there was quite a bit of stuff in this magazine, quite a bit. So, train your eye, spot the stuff before you throw it away. Thanks for watching.